guys, Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters. So this is the layout I'm going to be running through with you today. So I fussy cut this hello out. Uh, I traced the font off my computer and then I'm going to colour it in watercolours. Those of you that have a keen eye may have noticed the photograph in this picture. This is why I have been a little bit slow with getting my videos up lately and getting myself organized a few other busy things on my mind um, so this little photograph this layout is uh, my nine week ultrasound with baby number two so you will be prepared to see many more well this year not that many more but next year if I'm able to keep up with life many more photographs of another little cherub along with my big boy, who you already have seen a bazillion photographs for. So for those of you who are actually interested in how I'm doing this painting, I sprayed the paper with lots of water, and then obviously I'm still using lots of water with um, the aqua brush. I didn't fill the aqua brush with water though, I'm just using it as a normal paintbrush, and then just piling it on, just smacking it on. I know I'm sticking it down anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then I popped that outside to dry. And while that was drying, I got to work in here with uh, how I wanted this to go. So I cut out, as you can see, this is the Coco Vanilla More Than Words collection. And so I cut out a few different strips of the papers I wanted to use. I was trying to be a little bit cheap here with um, using the double-sided tape. So I'm sticking these all together to make one big piece of paper so that I can use slightly less double-sided tape on it all. I'm not sure whether it's necessarily any easier or any harder doing it this way. Probably just popping a little bit more double-sided tape would have been fine. But anyway, this is what I did. Um, so just glued that, uh, sticky taped that all together on the back, um, the back side of what I'm going to use. And then I'm going to pop on the double-sided tape around the edge to hold that down. Jump ahead 10 seconds. I've put all of the double-sided tape on and I'm now sticking this down onto my plain white backing paper. I love that top flower paper. That is so gorgeous. And I don't know if you can tell. You can sort of see. And maybe my screen is quite small, so maybe on a big screen you'll be able to see better. Um, that the white paper down the bottom is actually textured. It's got an embossed flower on it, which is gorgeous. So these photographs are my first real um, ultrasound at the obstetrician. So not even like a real, real ultrasound, just at my standard obstetrician's ultrasound. Um, just the very first appointment, the very first official, yes, there really is a little baby in there. So this is nine weeks. I'm currently much further along than that, but I had to wait to release this video until we had spoken to all of our family and friends in person so that they knew, because I have a couple of family and friends that watch my videos and it would be awful if they watched this video and happened to find out the news before I'd had a chance to tell them. So uh, this was quite a while ago now but you can see that I am using um it's actually the top of a microwave you know like a, a cover thing to stop your food splattering in the microwave uh to help guide the circle to keep the circle as sort of not perfect but as as shaped as I could when I, I did try and lay them out freehand it didn't work it looked awful because they were so wonky um it looks much better with a more perfectly filmed circle. So I'm super lucky with this layout. Uh, Katie had finished the layout she really wanted to do with this kit. Um, she scrapbooks by month and she'd done all the, the pictures she needed for the month and I'm behind of course and I hadn't done the pictures I wanted to do for the month. So 
she gave me any of her leftover bits. So I'm super lucky. I doubt I'll use them all, but I've got access to her leftover bits, which is super cool. So it's like I'm having triple the amount. Well, okay, not triple, slight exaggeration. Double the amount of what I usually would have, which is really fun to work with. Um, first world problems. I was saying to Katie when I was creating this layout that the four ultrasound photos is actually too many it's really I'm finding it really challenging to fit them inside the circle but I didn't want to look like, how do you choose which one to leave out I didn't want to leave any out so they're all just getting squished in there and I love it which is kind of the point anyway it's for me so that's okay um so just having a play it's kind of a shame that the beautiful colors of the paper that I layered behind the the big rectangular strips that I did first you can't really see them now especially because I love that top flowery strip that I'd done but all those little things add to the layout I think like even if you can't really see them the the color is there and the the subtlety of it is there so I think it's still really important to to, to do those things if it wasn't in the picture it I think it would look uh, like it was missing something or I'm not sure it just helps to add to everything all the little little elements come together so just fiddling I always find these things quite challenging um, being odd shaped or too skinny or too fat or whatever to try and pin them all down you may have noticed I was having a little bit of trouble with that foam the foam is from the reject shop I really like it. It's it's not that expensive, but it's hard to cut. So if you don't like it, the thickness that it is, it is hard to cut. I should also mention that I stuck all the flowers down off screen, hence why they're now not moving. Um, and I did that before sticking on my photos. Sorry, I cut that out. I didn't think you needed to see me stick down the photographs. Um, putting through the flowers, I'm just pricking the paper with a thick needle and then popping the flowers through. <laughs> Uh, there are 10 in a pack and I find them really hard to use so I'm just putting all 10 on this layout just going to town um, I don't often use super thick things like this on a 12 by 12 layout like I would if I was framing it or something but if it was just going in my album I don't often use that but I'm cutting down the amount of photos I'm scrapbooking this year just because I got so far behind last year I didn't want to be so far behind this year, so I'm scrapping less amount. Uh, just as, still weekly and things like that, but just not as many. I was doing like, oh, ridiculous amount of photos a week, and I've just sort of halved it. And I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. There's been probably two weeks so far in the whole year when I've sent all of my photos for the week that I'd narrowed down to for the week to my sister and my mum and went I've got three photos too many which ones aren't important tell me and I will cut them out because they're all important to me so I find it really hard whereas you know mum or Katie will look at them and go I have no idea what that photo even means so get rid of that one which is great an outside view is what I need um I briefly showed you I just flipped over the flowers and just stuck the backs with sticky tape washi tape would totally work but sticky tape Oh, excuse me, was on hand from when I stuck the papers together. I deliberately have one photo, uh, one flower left over. I want to put it down near the hello, so I know that that one is there. So now, oh, I painstakingly try and cut the foam to put on the back of my hello. And as I mentioned before, it's so sticky; it sticks to the scissors. And it is really hard to use. I'm constantly cleaning my stickers off with um, eucalyptus oil because this foam is just so sticky. But I just use less. I just, I just decide I don't have the patience to fiddle with the foam too much, so I just use less. Um, and I go back later. I'm sure it's on screen. Um, I go back later, and once I've already stuck it down, I put some more foam in behind. <laughs> Oh no, I took it off screen. Oh, did I? Oh, I don't even know. I'm just putting in that last flower. Sorry that you can't see that. 
and sticking it down with some tape on the back. And you can see this shininess of the tape where I've stuck all the other ones down. I knew I wanted to put one more flower in and down there. Then I just decided that the title didn't really explain enough of what was going on. So I just grabbed these little white thickers. I totally understand that you don't see them as well. That's okay. I didn't want this part of the heading to really um, stand out too much. It's not the, the vital part. It's just sort of the extra information, I suppose you'd say. Love the look of these white thickers on the white, though. I, it totally works for the idea I was going for and it just says nine weeks and just so I know when the ultrasound was taken then I feel like the ultrasound photos are really black and I know that's a little bit of a dar moment because they are black but I want to sort of uh, lighten or well, not lighten but carry that black around a little bit so I put the black love hearts but it's still not quiet enough so I just grab a couple of these or maybe only one of these um these word phrase no yeah one I was gonna say no I get two no only one because it was the sort of the perfect match for what I wanted to say um and just add that on as well just to tie that black through a little bit more then gotta have some hearty shine come on we can't finish a layout without hearty shine so just covering up those precious little photos so that I don't splash onto those because I'm not sure how Heidi Shine would go getting wiped off could be a complete disaster um so splish splash splash away and oh nice I'm like what am I doing now new blush bit of blush Heidi Shine as well which is the one I'm awful at flicking so don't look too closely and then I am almost done I believe. Oh, I actually flicked that not too bad, if I do say so myself. Um, just pop on a few enamel dots. Uh, these are just from eBay for a dollar. They're great. Highly recommend getting these. They come in a variety of colours. They're literally a dollar for a sheet. I just think that's awesome. You can't buy that from a shop in Australia. Not a chance. So very happy with that. <laughs> you may see me counting. I am seeing, I'm trying to have the same number of each size dot left in each colour. So if I've got two tiny dots in yellow, I need to have two in blue and two in pink and what have you. So I'm just using the leftover colours, uh, the other colours to even out the dots. Even though, hello, I've got an entirely new packet that I hadn't even started yet. <laughs> wow. I'm so silly. So here is the finished layout. I hope you enjoy watching this tutorial. I really loved making this one. I love the More Than Words collection from Coco Vanilla. It's just gorgeous. I love the soft pastel-y colours. Um, stay tuned for more videos coming up throughout the month. And I will catch you next time. Thanks guys. Please like and subscribe.